Good morning, I'm Roy Robertson, and this is San Diego Made, San Diego Proud, where we present the organizations and the individuals making important contributions to America's finest city. Always a pleasure to have Deacon Jim Vargas, CEO of Father Joe's Villages, with us, but especially today as we invite you to one of the biggest events of the year to help our homeless neighbors, the Father Joe's Thanksgiving Day 5K. And joining us today is August Castile, who's competed in the last 11 events. August will be involved again this year as he celebrates a milestone birthday by, again, helping the homeless this year. So we'll talk to August in just a second. Guys, welcome back. And uh, Deacon Jim, let's uh, let's give some perspective to this event and what we're really trying to do on this day, Thanksgiving Day with the 5K. Well, first and foremost, we want everyone to come out and give thanks, right? Sure. To give Thanksgiving anyway. And what a wonderful way to start it. You start the day early in the morning before you go home and you have a Thanksgiving meal with your family and you come in and do a good thing. And not only for yourselves, you get to, to walk around, run around. It's more an experience than an event. It really I mean, is. Because it's not just the, the walking around or the running around. It's really spending time with friends and family, and you're doing it all for a good cause. At the end of the day, it benefits those at Father Joe's Villages. We have, we provide a million, over a million meals a year, and this helps us to be able to do that. Right, and it is quite a scene if you're down there. I mean, it, it, it's kind of a shame to promote it as just being the 5K because it's so much more. It's much more. Um, right. There's a costume contest. There's a beer garden. You can get Thanksgiving pies. Um, all of this stuff going on that people need to know about and, and need to register now to join us, right? That's exactly mm -hmm. right. And the registration is not very expensive to do. And we're expecting over 7,500 7, to participate. Oh. And this is our 15th year. Augie, as you mentioned, has been with us. This will be his 11th yeah. year. Yeah. That's, that's right. So, August, we met you this time last year when you were celebrating your 89th <laughs> birthday. Yes. So, obviously, you found a time machine within that last year, and you've turned back the clock in ways that we can't understand. Happy 90th birthday to you. Thank you very much. It's, it's, it's a pleasure being here. Let's well, talk about your participation yeah. with the event. You've been doing this, as Deacon Jim points out, for a long time to help raise money. Oh, yes. I've always enjoyed this as one of the, my major feature, you know, feature thing for me to do in a year, because it's like, go, it's, it's like meeting new friends and meeting family. It's like yeah. a family reunion for me. Right. And so, uh, because this race is so different from, for me, uh, than some of the other races I've been in. In that, it's, uh, as I said, like meeting family. Right. Because we see the same people, yeah. or some of the same people, and it's just a pleasure to be in a race where there's really more, uh, there's less competition, right. so to speak. Well, you, you know, are a competitive so. runner. You say you're actually going to be running again this yes. year, yeah. not walking. But that's the point, Deke, Jim. You can participate on so many different levels in this event, right? Different yeah, levels, absolutely. and you can even bring your pets, yeah. as right. I know you do. Yes. <laughs> Mia, Mia the Yorkie will Mia, be there. Yes. We're looking forward to seeing Mia again. <laughs> but it's just meant to be a fun event. It you is. come out, and, and it's a great start, as I mentioned to you today. The pies that you mentioned, Roy, yeah. are made by our culinary arts program participants, those who are there learning how to be chefs. Um, and that's a great program that we offer as well. And, and again, all this benefits the services that we provide right. to, the, to the homeless who we serve at Father Joe's Village. And again, the goal being providing for a million meals over the course mm -hmm. of a year. That's and right. it's a real tangible way for people to participate as a community to get involved in supporting Father Joe's. It, it very much is. Okay, yeah. great. So we look forward to having you and Mia and Augie, yep. of course, and, and all the others, all the other 7,500. We'll see you all at the start line, okay? <laughs> Thank you very much. Sure now, it's uh, thanksgivingrun.org is the website. As Deacon Jim mentions, doesn't cost much to participate, and you're doing so much for the community. So please, form a team, individuals, families, whatever you can do, thanksgivingrun.org to register for the 5K, and we'll see you there.